it happens to be that all SSL generated for free usually works only for three months. So if you fall under any of this, which is your website SSL automatically expire in three months, this tutorial is for you. I'm going to show you how to actually get out of the first SSL you installed that has been expired. Then now how to get your website back to HTTP and now install a new SSL back into your website to make your website your website SSL start working back ASAP. So I'll get into my computer now and make sure I get this work done ASAP for you guys. So all of guys, let's get started. The website I'm going to use for this example is FFR incorporated.org let's click on the advanced button here and scroll down a bit to open up the website without having ssl then i'm going to automatic uh, quickly open the wp minus admin so we put the wp minus admin here so we can have access to dashboard so it's possible your own website is not going to load up the wp minus admin so you just have to find your way there and open up your cpanel if you don't know how to log into your cpanel just go to into your website.com slash cpanel so now let's go back into our wp minus admin our website.com wp minus admin then we log in into the admin dashboard very easy that way now the plugin we are using to generate this ssl is wp minus encrypt if you see above it stated that our ssl has expired which it has so in this tutorial i'm, I'm just going to quickly show you Firstly, I'm going to show you the confirmation that our SSL has expired. So I will have to download the carbon do the certificate and all. So that's the tree. I've just downloaded it. Now I'll open the file uh, like show in folder so I can locate the file in my file manager. Then I'm going to use notepad plus plus to open them one by one. So certificate first. The notepad plus plus might take a while though so you just have to bear with me then we have to go back into our cpanel we search for ssl nameship also have ssl i cover a tutorial on that you can check some of my other videos then we go back there we click on the ssl tsl then we click on the manage ssl we have to actually select our domain here the domain we are about to use for this example i'm using ffi incorporated.org have to select it then we go back into our uh, certificate here Control a which is command a on mac then c to copy it then now paste if you notice here it states that the ssl has expired which means the ssl is not working any longer so now let's install it we have to click on the reset going back into our wp minus admin so it has different steps to make this work the reset is going to automatically delete the existing certificate and we have to apply like the time the new terms and condition then we generate a new one so you put your domain uh, your email there then you agree to the terms and condition you generate it's actually okay for you to generate for the www dot and the non www dot so i'll do the same too then you click on the generate free ssl certificate it's very easy that way it's loading up guys so let's take a chill pill if i'm good in this you guys can tell me <laughs> so now it's load up guys and now we have to scroll down a bit we have two options to make it work which is we uploading it or we using the dns record okay now i'm going to upload the two files this file you have to download it firstly then we are going to upload it into our file manager which is via our cpanel so it's very important to put that in mind too so i've downloaded the first one then so what next guys um so we have to go back into our cpanel i've downloaded it by clicking this link you notice you notice okay so now let this the file then we have to go into our cpanel click on the file manager so it actually do pop and open a new tab <laughs> that's how that down shall it do so now let's go back into our file manager so it's loading up it's loading up loading up so this is how your file manager is going to look like if you are using something like name like i am doing 
So now let's um, go to the public underscore HTML. The right folder to make this work is well dot unknown. I think so. Then we go into the Acme challenge. All these files are not useful any longer since um, we are uploading a new one. But we just have to click on the upload for now. So the upload is going to then show up then we we'll drag and drop the new file into it so let me just go back to these files and um, select everything so i can delete it so only the new file is going to show so just delete um only bit okay confirm delete so now i'm going to refresh this to load up the new file I just upload so easily like easy that way so now <laughs> my new file is going to show up here so let's verify if what i did was correct okay clicking checking i want to cross check the link oh okay it's showing it's showing for for what's the error here so let's try and uh, verify okay to see our error to know what exactly so they are actually asking us to buy the pro version you can actually get it i'm going to provide the link for you guys to get that you understand so it's very easy so let's copy the link to check the problem so i'm going to paste the link here then you notice the link do not have https so i'm going to put the s and cross check again oh okay now we found it so now it's showing that this uh there are some things that we have to actually remove which is still pushing the website into ssl so the file we upload is in ssl so now i have a plugin called really simple ssl so if there is any ssl plugin you have on your website just deactivate it for now understand what i'm trying to say and there is anything that puts your website into ssl just deactivate them for now so i deactivate this and i have to log in back asap to check what we are actually doing so the next thing i have to do is um the first to ssl that is on the website uh, on the plugin that i used to generate the ssl which is the wp encrypt there is something called force http on it so let me look for that it's actually important i deactivate that one too so first https so now that one to force to https so okay i think it's in disabled already i disabled okay fine it's in disabled just save it so now we confirm now that no ssl no plugin is actually forcing them or forcing it into https so that one has been confirmed now so let's try it again now if it's still going to work or what do you think guys now let's go back and um, do this again to see if it's going to actually work okay let's scroll down a bit and cross check let's verify if it's going to work okay let's check okay it's still not working so which means there is some other things we have to do so what do you think guys what is it <laughs> okay let me show you sir. No, so let's go back into our file manager our cpanel and search for ssl so if you install a uh, SSL, there is a certificate that we automatically generate. So that's why I come here and I'm going to click on the delete. I'm going to delete the SSL for this. It's very important you do that too. So you delete the existing SSL because that is going to push it out. Now I'm going to remove the S out of the URL, then try it again. Boom. Our website works without SSL. Fine. Then I have to log in again. Click the remember me, then log in. So now we do not have SSL. Very good. Very good. Now we are making progress. Okay, still loading up. Let's see how our new backend is going to look without SSL. Okay, this is it. Now let's go back into our uh, download area to get our SSL, the verification area. So under the WP encrypt. So we just have to go back. Where is WP encrypt? Here? oh okay i got you so now we are there now we have to scroll down a bit so let's try and um should we download or just click on the verify okay let me download it again and check this link open a new tab just open it in your tab okay then okay now we our link is okay then um okay we have to try other ways to do this because i'm not sure if the, the verification is still going to work so the other way i can use is going back into our dns 
because we, we we have two options to actually do it so the option one is using the upload method so i think the upload method is taking time so let's try the dns method so now i'm in the dns zone area then we are asked to add a txt record here so okay okay the txt record section so which means we have to click on the manage on the website then with that we are going to have the option to add txt record if we click on the uh little button uh in the back of the in the back of the add record up here then we had them um, txt record okay so they, are, they gave us the name the record the number so i've had it very slow here so bear with me guys they're actually doing this because i actually want to show you the different ways you can do so i can actually upload the content using i can actually do this using the upload version or the dns version so i tried the upload version is actually not working it's not working yet so then i'm trying the dns uh function option two so let me just close this tab and then um, add the name the name there okay cool then now let's add the ttl which is 60 okay cool then add record i will actually i did the same thing for the two the two dns record that was listed there so i'll just cut that part off you see how i had the first one you have to do it the same the same way to do the two uh record with that then let's click on the verify once again maybe it's going to work okay it's still not working what's going on oh okay actually the thing there is that um it took five minutes before it worked i didn't read that before i click on the verify so eventually it later work and the verification now works so now we use dns to verify it but it's still showing us error why god why is still showing us error i was just like <laughs> this is getting frustrated so what happened there is that i forgot to add the second um second file when i'm uploading it from the beginning if you notice guys i upload just one file in the folder so now let me just fix it now so i just remember now that time i i did not upload the second file so this is how i know watch out guys i have to cross check now so this is how i know if i cross check this file link in my file since it's now in http so if i click check here like verification file the dns is not going to work because that the second dns has not propagate so what i did that i download this file then i open this link to check if the file has been uploaded in my uh file manager wait for it okay so i check maybe the file is, has been uploaded it goes it i was just like oh, wait what <laughs> so i was i just have to go back into my file manager then like i have to upload the new file under the file manager so let's quickly go there coming up okay so we go on under the public minus HTML underscore HTML so it's still the same process though I just forgot to upload the second file that's all so it's only one file that is there so it might cost it so if you are doing your own video just make sure you upload the two files don't be like me guys okay so let's move on into the next thing so i will go back into the website and click on the verify again just wash out so the file is there then now let's verify it boom very easy like that it has been verified so now our HTT, our certificate our carbon do and our private key has been generated so what next guys what next what do you think is next don't worry i'm going to show you so let's scroll down a bit to see our files and i'm going to download the three files and um, one two three okay so now we have the three files download the second one is downloading now the remit means the third one okay so now the three files are ready so now we have to try and locate them in um uh showing folder uh folder so 
it doesn't load completely so let me quickly refresh it then um, i'm going to open it with notepad plus plus again as we as you should now you guys know how we do it so okay now to work with uh to work with it we have to go under our ssl we have to reinstall this new one we just generated so that is going to be our new ssl so under the manage ssl site now we select our domain as usual scroll down a bit select the domain we select our website ffr incorporated.org then we open the file with um, notepad plus plus okay now this is the now while we copy the file now let's go back to our website and um, put it there so it's going to tell us immediately we paste it now if you notice below it's going to it tell us immediately that this is going to last three months or so so that's the ssl now let's do the other guys there so which is let's do the carbon do first so we open with notepad plus plus and um control a pew control c now let's go back to the website and paste it there oh okay as opposed to the private key first the carbon do is below so okay so we paste it there now let's go for the private key okay so open with notepad plus plus as you share doesn't mean you can do it anyway you can copy anyone first also so it's based on the one you see first or you download first okay control a control c go back to the website then we paste it here also very easy like that we scroll down and generate um install certificates wow our certificate has been installed but if you check the website it's not going to work instantly so we just have to put uh go to the force https then we have to force the https to start working instantly so we click on the force ssl via ht access so this is going to write a little code into our uh ht access to automatically propagate all the website all the redirect is going to go to the HT https website so now check out the website guys keep looking immediately the reload completes if you check now our ssl is there well padlock pump is like that way guys <laughs> it's, it's not that stressful though. although i make it in a stressful way but if you follow the tutorial well within uh, 20 or 10 minutes it's supposed to be done if you check the uh, website front page too we don't need this tab actually so everything is installed now the ssl is working very fine we don't need uh, that tab so you just have to make sure everything is well installed guys so that's just it guys you know what to do if you like the video subscribe to